Hello seniors, today I will be walking you through your Victor Valley College application for fall 2021. Um, so what we will be doing first is you're going to go to vvc.edu and then once you get to the website, you will click apply and apply now. So it's gonna bring you to the screen. So one thing to verify is that Victor Valley College is in the left-hand corner here. So you make sure you're applying to the correct college. Then here in the middle, um, if you have an account, so you may have taken a dual enrollment class or um, taken courses through the ECA program. So you may already have a, uh, an account through VVC. If you do, you're gonna sign in. If you do not, then you're gonna create an account. So you're gonna click create account. Once you get to this page here, um, you will click begin creating my account. And we are gonna go through all of the steps of actually creating an account. So um, go ahead and type in your first name. If you have a middle name, Do you have a previous name? Um, so you're gonna answer that question, yes or no. If you have a preferred name that you use other than your legal name, you can choose yes. Then you'll enter your date of birth. You have to re-enter it and confirm it. Now, um, the next or last question on this page is asking if you um, have a social security number. So if you do have one, then you're gonna put yes, and you will enter your social security number in twice. If you do not have one, then you're gonna check no, and then you'll click this box here. So check this box if you are a student enrolled exclusively in non-credit courses, an undocumented student, an international, a non-resident alien, or another exception. Um, so if you do not have a social security number, you will check no and check this box and then hit continue. Um, if you do have a social security number, you're a U.S. citizen, then you will check yes. So for this purpose, um, we're just going to go forward and hit no. And then you will hit continue. And so now you're going to enter your email address. Uh, I recommend that you do use a personal email address and not your school one. Um, so all of the communication is sent to that personal email address. Once you graduate from Hesperia, um, you will no longer have access to that school email. So you do want everything on a personal account. So you're gonna go through, um, enter in. All right, you'll enter in your phone number. And then permanent address, so my permanent address is outside the United States. You're not gonna check that box. You will not check, um, I have no permanent address because I am currently homeless. Um, if this pertains to you, then you will check that box. If it does not, then you'll leave that blank as well. And so your street address, you will put in where you are currently living. Continue. And so this page is the last page. Um, you will be creating your username and password. So this is up to you. You can make up whatever you would like. You will create a security pin. So it says that this is a four digit personal identification number for your account. Enter your pin twice to make sure uh, you type it correctly. Um, so this is a number you create or make up. It's anything that you want it to be. And then security questions. So you're going to go through and put in three different security questions um, and answer those. Um, once you do that, you're gonna check that you're not a robot and then you'll click create my account. 
Um, but once you have done that, then your username and password for uh, this website will have been created.